I was skimming an article this morning on negative self-talk, and one of the things they suggested to do is to name the critical voice inside you. And the tough guys inside me were going, oh, yeah, that'll help so much. Like, we don't have enough names already inside. And I thought it was so funny because I do have or we have um, groups of critical parts inside whose only job is to criticize me. And it's something that my abusers taught those parts of me to do intentionally. It was part of the mind control and the torture and abuse. And it is a way to try and control me and other parts inside and to degrade me and to lower my self-confidence and to make things so much harder and make me more of a victim for the cult abusers. So it's not a good thing. And I've worked with them for years and years and years. And there's a few things that I try to do to help with the critical self-talk and the criticism that keeps happening from those groups of parts. So I work with them directly with my therapist, talk to them, listen to them, and then ask them to change their jobs. I have a lot of groups of them, um, but they do. some of them have been able to change their jobs to be more like a cheerleader for me and others inside. So that really helps. I also listen to what they say, and I try to refute it. I'm not very good at refuting it at the time, but I can often do it later. And even if I'm struggling to refute it and to say a positive instead, I will often talk it out with a friend or my therapist, and then they can help me, they can encourage me, and they can say, well, Cheryl, that's not true. And that helps. If I really can't refute it in my mind, um, then I can also write it out, and then I can refute it that way, like say, like, you know, it's not true for these reasons. But getting encouragement from an outside source, from a friend, from my therapist, it really does help quell those voices for a little while. And I will also remind them and everyone else inside that this is a job that they were taught. And often very specific things that they are saying are similar to or the same as things that my abuser said to me. And so I remind them that they are just um, reliving the abuse and trauma or that they are recreating mm, the critical mean things and that they don't need to. It's something that they were taught and that they don't want to be anything like our abusers. So maybe they can think about letting it go or changing the job. And those things help me.